Today I'm going to show you the new thread repair kit from Promax. You're going to really like this. It's really kind of cool. What we've done, if you're familiar with some of the more spring-like inserts that's in the market, those are okay for a temporary fix, but we really want, in Promax, we really want a permanent fix that's a strong, stronger than the threads itself in the head. So what we have in the kit is a number of different accessories. First we have the drill bushing. That bushing is going to allow you to use your drill bit to clean out all the threads that's left in preparation for your insert. Secondarily, we have our tap, which is set up, of course, for your inserts as well. All machine grade tooling. We have our insert tool, and you have four inserts made out of steel. We've coated them with black oxide coating to make sure they don't rust. And of course, we're gonna add a little bit of Loctite when installed. All simple kit, heavy duty. And by the way, Promax is the only one that has a thread repair kit and a bushing to be able to drill them out and put an insert in it. Now to begin, I'm just going to add a couple drops of oil, and as we tell you in our instructions, we always turn our drill bit by hand until we get in there. Now, I'm in my bushing, that way I can ensure that I'm in the right area. I'm going to toggle my drill, drill on a couple of times. Now, you see that I put a piece of black tape, you guys have done this many times to be able to control your depth, so you know that you're going to drill through the cylinder head. And the water's up. It's that quick. We have the tool from Promax, again, a machine tooling. The difference between a machine grade tool and a regular tap or tool is, is that these are high precision. They're designed so they cut really easily. The threads are very, very sharp, and they're gonna cut true. This particular one's a bottom or a plug tab. It allows us to get deeper into the threads, but you can see how nicely it's cut. We only use exclusive gold style, and these are machine grade tooling taps in all of our kits. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and drill it out, as I said, with our guide, our Rocky II, and we've gone ahead and machined out all the threads that are in there. We're going to prepare for a tap, and uh, obviously we removed the plate. Now, before we begin, I'm going to put a couple drops of oil on my tap. Again, machine tooling, and uh, we're going to, have to get started with a tap, and we're just going to go ahead and get it going, and you can see how easy it is. Now, the way I use a tap properly is I'm moving, I want to back this up at least a quarter turn and then I want to blow down through each flute to clear out all the debris. So I'm blowing down the flutes, I'm going to turn it back, blow down this one, just to clean anything out of there that might be in there. So, now I'm set, I got a clean tap and I can, go keep, I can keep going forward. If we're doing cast iron, I'd want to back up more frequently and blow this out. Like so. Now I'm doing and we're all the way down to the point where I'm done. You can see it's cutting really nice. This is again machine grade cutting. And we're gonna, we should be pretty much to the end. There we go. And we're good. So now what we've done is tapped it to the point where we're gonna get ready for our insert. And again, machine grade tooling, and you can take a look at the threads. Very, very nicely done. Now, what we're ready to do now is we're going to go ahead and put the insert tool in the insert in the insert tool and install it. You'll notice that one side's got a slight chamfer on it, the other side's cut flush. So we want to make sure we start with a chamfer size to make it go in easier. Okay, you can screw it right in there like so. And nice, it's in nice and easy. And of course, it'll stop clean with a cylinder head. Back that out, and we're done.